but it's a bit breezy today. It's not too uh, cold, about 15, 16 degrees. A bit warmer in Chesterfield, but uh, today I'm going to do the Crow Mill walk. So I've just walked through that gate down there, down there. Just come down the hill on the road from the car, just about 100 metres before I turned onto the gate. And follow this path. Uh, you see this pole, following these poles it indicates the path, there's one bit further up. We'll be going on that hill, just over that hill. That's my destination, Chrome Hill. I can't quite see it on screen somewhere there, funny looking hill. So this is the first hill I'm heading for, High Wielden. It's a bit breezy up here, I hope you can hear me, with my little wind suppressor on. So I've just been up to the top of High Wielden, there's people up there I don't like filming and talking to myself in front of people. So uh, just been up there, it's a National Trust property, so uh, anyone can go up there. There's a little path coming down, coming down around there. It takes you down to that wall down at the bottom there you walk along that wall into the uh, valley here so there we go i've just come down there that's the obviously i wheeled in come down that path there we're going along there where those two are going into the valley oh yeah as well when i followed the commute route the other week when i did this i actually went through this style Got a bit lost, it wasn't super clear which way to go. Well, not for me anyway, because I thought I went through style and up onto the road. I think it would still take you around uh, into the valley eventually, but because uh, there was no one else around, you couldn't follow anything. And I didn't realize that was a path. So I went through this style here and went up there, walked down there. I had to walk all the way back up and back down. So uh, just be wary of that if you come down. So I'm still on High Wielding, just walked along there. Be walking into uh, the valley there. So I'll just come down into the valley here, I'll be turning right in a minute or two. But uh, this looks awesome. It's like a tree but it's growing out of the uh, rock at the side of the hill. That's looking great. Like things like that. Still making my way up to uh, Crow Mill. Just come along there. It's an interesting cow. It's like uh, grey, where the rest of them are like either brown or black. I find that interesting. So that's Crow Mill where I'm heading to. Valley. A bit windy up here, so it might be a bit blowy. There we go. See the farm in the valley? I've just walked through that farm and along the path up there. Okay, so I'm getting closer. Uh, it's my destination, Crow Mill. That one. The one before it, which I'm going to go up as well, which will be the second hill I go up. Uh, is that one, which is uh, Park House Hill. So Park House Hill and Crow Mill, they're a bit of scramble to get up. But also coming down is quite treacherous as well, because it's quite steep and you slip and slide quite a lot. Don't like it actually. Going up, it's, it's a scramble to get up basically, but going down I find it a bit dangerous. Especially for oldens like me. So I've just come through Ern Sterndale, should have took a photo really. But there's a series of gates you go through and uh, I can't see a pointer them really. <laughs> there's about five gates you've got to walk through all the way in 100 metres of each other. But whatever. Still breezy but it cools you down a bit, especially when you're walking. at the top of the uh, park house hill now that's where i've just walked along uh, high wheels in that 
high hill up there, which I walked to the top, the first one I went up. I've um, walked down there, I come round and come up. Um, I think I've done about six kilometres so far, it's really windy up here, so I don't know if you can hear me. There you go, you can see the top of the park house hill, the crow mill. The crow mill's bigger, just from this angle, the park house looks bigger than the crow mill. Top of Park House Hill now, it's really windy, so I don't know whether you can hear me. As you can see, uh, thistles are in flower, they're really vivid, uh, like uh, pink colour, dark pink. There you go, you can see across the valley, uh, High Wealdon over there, through the valley there, parked up at Crowder Cart, which must be up there somewhere. So you can see the paths down there where I'm going to be going, sort of along that path across river. Um, there you go. So I've been up Crow Mill. Um, there's no more hills and it's fairly flat. It makes it a lot easier to walk on. But I'm having to deal with stuff like this. It's so slippery, or at least these boots are. These boots are okay uh, on the soil, but the rock is really slippery. As you can see, it's quite, uh, you know, it's quite a sharp uh, drop there. I'm surprised you can't see any quarries from here, actually. So, like I say, it's really treacherous coming down here. It is down. I know uh, the GoPro don't really show the... Uh, don't really show the gradient, but it's not very easy to get down, especially if you haven't got a stick to steady yourself or anything like that. That's Park House Hill where I've just come from. Come down this side, side you can see. I think there is another path down the other side, I'm not too sure. The trouble is, uphills and downhills, it's what starts doing my knee in. This hall's are out, it's Park House Hill. I will do it in the background there, might just be as well. <laughs> so I'll be down there in a, well, about an hour or so, I think. So there's Hollins Hill, what I'll be going round. I'll be going round the other side of it. Just got to get down there off Crow Mill. So there's a cave down there. <laughs> These rocks are really slippery. It's not easy to walk down. It is what it is, but uh, you know, it's one of those things, but it's uh, still slippery. For this. So that's Crow Mill. Just walked up there, it's only about 100, 200 metres. Um, it's about a 45 degree angle, it's a nightmare to walk up, knackering. So that's Hollis Hill in the background there, I'll be going around the other side of that. So you get these signs all over the place. To be fair, I don't really think they're that great. Half of them are broken. It's not signed like West Island Way where and those uh, national trails are. So this is a case in point. It's just there's no sign on, it's just broken down and everything. At least it's pointing one way. Uh, right, so down off Crow Mill now, I've done my three hills, uh, High Weald and Park House Hill and Crow Mill, Crow Mill being the biggest. Uh, wind's dropped a bit now, so I hope the sound's a bit better. Um, yeah, so I've just walked along there. It's nice. So, like I say, I'm off the three hills I was going to do. It's uh, it's not flat now, but uh, there's no more hills or climbing or anything like that. 
Um, see where I am, see how far I've come. Clouds are looking a bit dark up there. Hope it doesn't materialise into rain. Yeah, I've done eight and a half kilometres, so I'm almost halfway round. I'm just walking onto the gravel path now, which is a public bridle way. So that's where I just walked from. Just pan you around so you can uh, see into the valley. You can see there, um, all the foxgloves are flowering. Yeah, it's getting a bit uh, cloudy. Still fairly warm, I'm in my shirt sleeves. I'm sure you can see all these foxgloves, it looks really nice. I can't remember ever seeing any when I was a kid, not wild ones. So we're getting a few spots of rain now. I'm sure it'll only be a few spots, uh, I'm not bothered putting my coat on at this moment. Uh, if you look over in distance there, there's plenty of sun. Although, there's no wind at all now, I've dropped down into the valley. Um, which is interesting. In fact, where I am now, just look around about there, there's a big stone, that's where I'm going to have my uh, dinner. Cheese and pickle sandwiches, classic combination. So I've just had my dinner, cheese and pickle sandwich, got an apple there. Um, I'm heading that way, but I might have been wrong about the rain because look how black that cloud is. It seems to be heading straight towards me. So, it's got another sign, but it doesn't tell you where, where you're heading to. But anyway, um, look at this. Look at this for a gate. It's like someone's old, someone's old um, garden gate. I don't know who's put it here, in place of a style. There you go, let me back off a bit so we can see it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I don't know whether this is a path, oh it is a path. So there's a sign there saying it's a path. I'd have to wade through that to get across here. I don't know how anyone would get across there. Okay on a mountain, on a mountain bike there. Huh? Maybe made for mountain bikes, there's a gate there. Oh, nice, that's a bridge. <laughs> yes, it rain's coming now, so I think I might put my raincoat on. Okay, so this gives you a sort of a view of the two, the three hills I've been up. Um, High Wealdon, Park House Hill, and Chrome Hill. Look totally different from other, from a different direction. So I just uh, dropped down into Hollingsclough, a very small village, just a collection of houses really. We had a bit of rain but it's just sort of stopped now, so I think I'll take this coat off, it's like wearing a bin bag. It's not what you might call, it's not exactly uh, technical, it's just a £50 thing, it needs reproofing. Got caught in uh, a the rain in Madeira once, well last year actually, I thought I'd used it before this coat and it was well waterproof but it did nothing but rain and it rained hard. And I couldn't find any taxis or anything, I was out in Echo Park and I had to walk down until I could find a bus stop or somewhere. And I got to this bus stop and there was this old woman there. I mean, most people, young people, they can speak English. <laughs> but with this old woman, I tried to ask her, is it uh, Fun Child Centro? <laughs> she's going, yeah, see, yeah, yes. <laughs> see, see, or whatever they said, I can't even know. And, and then she started, start, she couldn't speak a word of English at all. And she started trying chatting with me. And I had no idea what she was saying. <laughs> but I was like a drowned rat. I mean... It kept the water off for a while, but it just got through it and I was saturated. 
But it just made me laugh that she tried talking to me, even though I couldn't speak a word of Portuguese. She couldn't speak a word of English. Hilarious. So I've just walked down that path, come across this bridge, could have uh, tried getting through the ford. I think I could have got through it. These shoes are quite waterproof at the moment. There's a little wooden bridge you can go across, quite nice. Love a good bridge. So I've just cut off that uh, road, gravel path, whatever it were. Um, just cutting through this field. Like I said, I do like a good bridge. <laughs> oh. There we go. So I've just walked across. Where that dry stone wall is, that's where the road is. So we didn't have much rain in the end, thank God. squeeze to get through here, I won't call myself fat, but if you were, I don't think you'd get through. There we go. Yeah, a bit of a squeeze with my backpack on. So uh, this is where my uh, phone started to die a few weeks back. It kept sort of limping on for another mile or so, and it totally died on me. So we're turning off down here to this gravel path. Yeah, so that's the style. I've had to squeeze through. Like I say, I'm not fat, but I basically like to climb over it rather than squeeze through it. Because no one can get through there. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, a little bit of the path. I can imagine it would be a bit muddy and it's really overgrown. There are obviously not many people come up here. Which, by the way, the sun's come out. So I'll just come out of that, to uh, those uh, little bit of woods, come out onto the field here. More foxgloves. It's going to drop us down into Long Nor. I don't know how to pronounce it. Like many things, I don't know how to pronounce. Well, it's spelt Long Nor, but a lot of these places around here, are irrespective of how they're spelt, this is, they're uh, spoken in a different way. So yeah, like I say, this is coming down into Longnor village. This is a village, it's like not just a collection of houses like that other place where... So this path's taking me out to Longner, um, taking me up towards, you know, where were it, High Wealdon, at the bottom of High Wealdon Hill. So I'll just come over that style, spin you around. So that's High Wealdon there. So this path should take me down to the bottom of High Wealdon and then along there, whereas before I went on to top of like High Wealdon and over. That's that farm I went through earlier. I come along there, turned right at that house, and up over back round. So this looks like a dwelling just waiting to be uh, done up, doesn't it? Look at the view you'd have. Cows. Eight cows. Look at them. Turn off at you anyway. Look, they're all coming towards me. Like zone in on me. A sign with actually a sign on. What does it say? Beggar's Bridge. I 
long no I'll just go to so that's what high wheeled in pan you around here it's another view of uh, crow mill and park house hill in the distance looks a lot closer to me than what it does to the gopro so then we're just been up and around yeah, and this is the bit i couldn't do last uh, week like i said my phone died so i had to stick to roads to get back to the car otherwise i want to be able to find it Roads I'm fine with, it's just walking around these things I'm just not used to. So a few hours ago, I walked along this road and I actually come and looked at this uh, post because I looked at it to see if it said Bridleway. I did wonder whether you could mountain bike down it. So when I come this way, I'll come from round the hill there, whereas this time I'm going on this side of the hill back. So yeah, that path brought me back onto this road. Uh, I'm walking towards Crowder Cot now with the um, High Wielden on my left hand side here. So we're just heading into a uh, small village of Crowder Cart now. Once we get there, uh, it's just a bit of a steep, twisty hill up to get to the car where I started from. Should be good. So this is the short uh, walk up to the car. It's quite a steep hill. Um, there's no path and this is quite a fast, busy road. Spin you around. So you have to be a bit wary at cars coming up and down hill. So this is where I started the walk. If you just look up there, my car's just on Brower Hill there. This is where I started my walk, going through this, heading up to High Wheeldon there. So there we go, just past the gate where I started, you see the car up there, looking down the valley. 